We're Designing Spaces, the show that's all about you and your space, your home and surroundings. I'm Debbie Marie. And I'm David Jones. And it's so good to have David back. We missed you. I missed you too. I love what you've done with the place since I was gone. We didn't change anything. Oh, okay. Well, it's great <laughs> to be back. We are off to a great start with Do It Yourself, and we're going to do it better. Yes, and today it's tools, techniques, and tricks of the trade for homeowners who want to take an active part in home improvement. From A to Z, we've got you covered. From the art of pool maintenance to the Z of garden hoses and extension cords. So stick around and see it all right here on Designing Spaces. Now, if you like building things for the house and doing other home improvement projects, then you're very familiar with this. A, a screw? No, it's not a standard screw. It's something so much better. Take a closer look. Okay, it's a screw. Okay, wait a minute. This is a do-it-yourselfer's dream. If you're planning on building something, then pay close attention, unlike Debbie, to this. It'll make your projects go so much easier. Take a look. It's a nail? When we take on those DIY projects, wouldn't it be great if it can go a little faster? I know. Well, DIYers, Designing Spaces discovered one item that fits the bill, a fastener. You know, a screw that not only is multi-purposed, but faster and easier to use. With us is Phil Moore from Altalo Brink & Company US, manufacturer of Spax Construction Screws, to show us how these screws will revolutionize your DIY projects. Welcome to the show, Phil. Oh, nice to meet you, Joe. Glad to be here. Could you show us what's unique about the Spax? Uh, Spax is a German engineered product. Uh, it has three international patents. The first one is the four cut, which eliminates splitting and uh, it actually reduces the driving torque needed to install it. The next international patent is the serrations that are actually built on there. Cuts through the wood. It actually does the same thing, right? It cuts it, instead of displacing it, it actually cuts the wood right. fibers. So again, it reduces the driving torque needed to install it. And down here, the last one is the multi-head. And it's a countersinking feature. And that helps whenever you're going into hardwoods and you don't want to countersink the wood or anything, it actually countersinks itself into, right. into most materials. Uh, and last but not least, all of our screws are heat treated. That includes the little six by half all the way up to the half inch lags. So less breaking. Right, you can actually install them and not break them. So Phil, why a screw instead of a nail? Well, a lot of us don't have the skills to swing a hammer very well, so the screw makes it a little bit easier to install. Any, anybody with a uh, common battery drill can run a screw in. Right. And not only that, uh, the threaded fastener uh, gives you higher pullout values and it's heat treated so it's not going to break. And not only that, if you do install it in the incorrect area, you can actually remove it and, and actually Reuse fix the screw. It. Yeah, you can use the screw again if you want to. You really can't do that with a nail. Right. And how do we know which size of screw to choose for each project? Well, a lot of times the fixtures will dictate what size screw you want to use because of the hole that's in the fixture. And what, what screw are we going to use for uh, plantation shutter installation? Uh, we're going to use a little inch and a half T-Star Plus, and we're just going to kind of run it in right here to install okay. it. Oh, that seems real easy. Yeah, it's pretty easy. You want to run one? Sure. Joe, let's go over here and let me show you how the Spax works in the masonry. So there's definitely advantages to the Spax fastener. Absolutely. It uh, eliminates the need for a rainbow of fasteners in your toolbox because you can use them in multiple materials, wood, concrete, masonry, or plastic. Uh, right now, we're going to go ahead and do a masonry application here. Let's do it. Now, we did take the liberty to go ahead and pre-drill all these holes for this. Uh, you do need to pre-drill whenever you're going into masonry, but all of our packaging does list all the drill bit sizes that you need to use for each diameter screw, the number eight, the number 10, the number 12, and number 14. These screws go in very easily into the concrete with it's the screwdriver. Nice, 
Uh, what we have here is a typical application for a deck, uh, either a joist or a girt to a 4x4. We do have it clamped for safety reasons. Typically, this 4x4 would be in concrete. So what kind of screw do we need to use for this? Uh, today, on this application, we're going to be using a uh, Spax power lag. Now, do we have to pre-drill for something like this? No, you don't. That's The lags also have the patented features with the serrations on them, so you don't have to pre-drill even at this application. Do we have to use different screws for different types of wood? Yes, you do. Since it's treated lumber, you're going to be using our HCR product, which is a high corrosion resistance, and what it does enable it to be compatible with the treated lumber. Wow, that was easy. No pre-drilling. Those power lags are amazing, aren't they? What kind of screws are we going to use for the shelving? Joe, we're going to step over here and grab some uh, unit drive screws that are Phillips square. Same SPAC screws, no pre-drilling again. Wow, no pre-drilling, nice no sunk. splitting. See how they counter sunk real nice and smooth. You can putty them over if you like. Very nice. What's next, Joe, is I'm going to have you use a conventional lag so you can actually see which one's actually faster. While there's definitely a significant difference between the two screws, the Spax definitely has the advantage, and I'm sure that professionals save a lot of time with those screws. Absolutely. You get longer battery life. Uh, as you notice that we have a built-on washer head. This one you have to actually buy the washer separately. Uh, right. They take different sockets. They don't dry very well, so it's a very unique product. Where can we get the Spax screws? Spax is available nationwide through our retail outlets. You can actually go to our website, spax.us, and there's a dealer locator available that you can go online and actually find the closest location to you. Well, thanks for being on the show, Oh, Phil. my pleasure. Thanks for having me. Spax Construction Screws are made in America. To see this portion of the show again, visit designingspaces.tv, where you'll find our videos, and you'll find a link to spax.us. Also, be sure to become a friend at facebook.com forward slash dspacesTV, and join in the conversation. A lot of good informative stories on the show today, but we're out of time. That happens every time. So much information, so little time, so it's goodbye for now. I'm David Jones. And I'm Debbie Marie. We'll see you next time. You can visit these websites to learn more about the participants on this edition of Designing Spaces. <laughs>